name is Caroline Jenger. Now, Uganda is Kenya's top tourist source market in Africa and the second overall after the United States of America. This is according to the latest tourism data that indicates that between January and August this year, 924,812 uh, tourists visited Kenya, earning the country 167 billion shillings, which is double what was earned during a similar period last year. 681,811 tourists just Jetted into in through the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, while 40,355 inbound tourists arrived through Moya International Airport, Mombasa. Let's take a look at that story. The World Tourism Organization indicates that international tourism is at 61% below the 2019 levels. For Kenya, tourist arrivals between January and August this year pointed to a steady recovery despite the general election and the COVID-19 restrictions in some countries. And as our projection, we project that we will reach 1.4 million people by end of the year of a range of 267 billion Kenya shillings revenue. For the country. During the period, 924,812 tourists visited Kenya with revenue doubling to 167 billion shillings compared to 83 billion shillings and during a similar period last year. Most of the tourists jetted in through the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, followed by the Moi International Airport Mombasa, with the drastic reductions in arrivals through Mombasa blamed on reduced charter flights. Uganda is Kenya's top tourist source market in Africa, accounting for 9% of tourist arrivals and second overall after the United States of America that accounts for 15% of tourists who mainly visit for holiday. Gaps at points of entry, e-visa application and slow implementation of the open sky policy are among the challenges to higher tourist arrivals. Kenya is unique because we can have multiple hubs to address the issue of the beach as a destination and we can have a, uh, have a, 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 a multiple hub, again a hub here in Nairobi to address the interior of the safari destination. And even this, they can crisscross between the beach and the safari. But there is a demand for, from Europe particularly for, uh, for, for direct flights to come into Moy Airport and Mombasa. Kenya is diversifying its tourist and marketing campaigns to include medical, education and sports tourism that are steadily, slowly gaining traction. Now for Kenya to achieve its target of hosting 1.4 million tourists by end of 31st December 2022, a lot needs to be done. Among them, issues to be addressed is the challenges in applying for visas on the e-platform, the downtime, as well as the heavy presence of fake websites, as well as the full implementation of the open sky policy. I'm Regina Manyara, reporting for KBC Channel One. Now to the latest from Konza, the first.